right. Good morning, everyone. Morning. 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 I'd like to remind everyone to please make sure that all cell phones are turned to the off or vibrate position. Also, please be advised our city council meetings are broadcast on television on Comcast Channel 99 and rebroadcast on WMGJ Radio. This meeting of the Gadsden City Council will not come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilwoman Tolls here. Councilman Williams here. Worthy here. Eccles here. Billingsley here. Cannon here. Reed here. We have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Brian Harbison to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Will you pray with me? Almighty God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for the blessings of life. We thank you for your blessings on this great city. And God, as we enter into the season of Christmas, we just thank you for the opportunity to, uh, to share together in a free nation. We just pray, God, that you will help us to be mindful today of the most important thing in this world is to show love and to share love as your son, Jesus. God, we just pray that you will be in this meeting today, that you'll give this council wisdom and knowledge in the decisions they have to make. Thank you for the mayor, for his staff and his administration. Pray that you'll just anoint him with, with love and wisdom, and we'll give you the praise and the glory for all the good things you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> the chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the Community Development Committee, Education, Recreation Committee, Work Session, and City Council meetings held on December 5th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of accounts for the week of December 1st through 7th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamations, Mayor. Yes, Unfinished business, uh, item number 8A is an ordinance repealing section 2-409 of, of the city code. This ordinance was presented last week for first reading. It removes prevailing wage requirements for certain contracts. The Davis-Bacon Act will still be complied with for any contract involving federal funds. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this ordinance. So moved. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Item number 8B is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisance at 1401 Kansler Avenue in District 3. Dorothy Joseph and the heirs of Mary Sawyer, who are listed as Mandy Robertson, Joshua Sawyer, Ida Mae Sawyer, Daniel Sawyer, Crystal Sawyer, and Foster Smith being the last known owners. This resolution was tabled for 30 days on November 7th. What is the pleasure of the council? I did hear from them, and I would like to uh, add another extension of 30 days. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to table the resolution for 30 days, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to table for 30 days. Okay. This is the time and place is advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of or ordinance, I'm sorry, resolutions abating, ordering abatement of nuisances on property at 1417 Arrowhead Drive in District 1, Joseph Johnson being the last known owner. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Okay. Does anyone wish to speak in favor? <clears throat> Mr. President, I'm Brian Harbison with the Building Department. This case involves a couple of vehicles. We started the process a couple of months ago. Uh, one 
uh, vehicles up on blocks, as you can see, the other vehicle is uh, just totally destroyed and um, in an accident, it looks like it rolled several times. Uh, after notification and uh, the attempts in court to have this remedy, we're asking today for a resolution to abate the nuisance. Thank you. What is the pleasure of the council? I move to abate. Second. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our final public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisance on property at 1300 Fowler Avenue in District 7, Brent S. Wooten being the last known owner. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? <coughs> Mr. President, this case involves a mobile home. We started the process in, in July of this year. There have been no improvements. There are no permits to improve. And we're asking today for a resolution to abate the nuisance. Pleasure of the council. Move to obey. Second. Second. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the <coughs> resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 11 <coughs> is a resolution awarding bid number 3358 for <coughs> Nakalula Falls Park trail modifications. The city engineering department has recommended awarding the bid to Bob Smith Construction and the amount is $206,984. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. I move to adopt. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 12 is a resolution awarding bid number 3359 for Black Creek Pedestrian Bridge Project. The City Engineering Department has recommended awarding the bid to Bob Smith Construction, and the amount is $420,513. The Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? What is the completion of that? Any idea, Mr. Heath? Uh, the, <coughs> the pedestrian bridge, I'll have to look. I think it was um, off the top of my head. I've got a few contracts in my head. I believe that one's 90 days. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right. Any additional discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, <laughs> let it be known by saying aye. Aye. <coughs> Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to adopt. Item number 13 is a resolution awarding bid number 3361 for the Nakalula Falls Park Pioneer Village Phase 2 project. The City Engineering Department has recommended awarding the bid to Hudak Construction Company and the amount is $294,525. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. No move. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the <coughs> resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 14 is a resolution awarding bid number 3363 for a sidewalk curb and gutter. The NEPA coordinator has recommended awarding the bid to James E. Watson Sons. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 15 is a resolution awarding bid number 33. 64 for unfinished traffic signs and poles. The NEPA coordinator has recommended awarding the bid to Traffic Signs Inc. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? 
Motion carries to adopt. Item number 16 is a resolution awarding bid number 3365 for finished traffic signs. The NEPA coordinator has recommended awarding the bid to Traffic Signs, Inc. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 17 is a resolution authorizing special use permit to AT&T. This is for equipment modifications to the existing wireless communication facility located at 1212 Scenic Drive. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 18 is a resolution authorizing agreement with Crescent Moon Entertainment. This is for Southern Accents to perform at the Amphitheater on Friday, June 1st, 2018, and the amount is $3,000. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item number 19 is a resolution granting permanent utility easement to the Gasden Water Works and Sewer Board. This is in order to maintain service to the venue at Coosa Landing, located at 201 George Wallace Drive. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to adopt. Item number 20 is, present, is an ordinance presented today for first reading. It's amending city code section 86-1 regarding definition of abandoned vehicles. This will change the definition for abandoned vehicles to the one found in section 302 I'm sorry, 3028 of the 2015 International Property Maintenance Code. This ordinance has been presented today for first reading and the council will vote on it next week. Okay. New business, is there any new business? Yes, Mr. President, I have several items and I'll begin with the uh, first one, request from the engineering department and this is a resolution authorizing a supplemental agreement number three with Cohen uh, Carnegagio Reynolds. Uh, this is a request having to do with the uh, venue at Coosa Landing where they're going to be doing some construction, where construction is already going on. But uh, the budget amount is $285,000, and I ask for unanimous consent. Second. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move for adoption. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? This is really uh, a request, and it has to do with the landscaping designs and the architectural designs uh, fees. So this is another improvement that's going on at the vineyard, continuous improvement. Okay. I have another item, and this is an item that's a request we from the... Vote on that one. Oh, you okay. We we'll get a second. Second. Yeah. Clerk, will you take the second. vote? Yes. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be okay. number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <laughs> Motion carries to adopt. <coughs> yeah, I'm she excited about these. spending money. <laughs> Can't she do all these at one time? Will you? Can we do them all at one time? The rest of them. Okay. Yes. And because they all have to do with the venue. Uh, the, the new venue that we're doing at the uh, East and the uh, and purchasing property at East Gap, at uh, East Broad Street. One is uh, the property that we're purchasing at East Broad Street, nine hundred and sixty-seven thousand and four hundred dollars. This one is authorizing lodging tax for expenditure that's related to the venue. This is five hundred thousand uh, dollars, and this is where we're acquiring property at 209 East Broad Street for $105,000. I ask for unanimous consent. Second. Second. All right, so we have a motion and a second to consider both the resolution and the ordinance in tandem. 
right. We actually have two ordinances and one resolution. Mm -hmm. Two ordinances. Did I miss? No. Okay, yeah, I missed the order. There's two ordinances and one resolution. Yeah. <clears throat> Those in favor to consider both the ordinances and the resolution under new business today, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? We have unanimous consent for consideration. I move for adoption. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Just okay. spending money for our new venue at uh, East Gaston, uh, well, the riverfront, and also in the East Gaston <clears throat> area. Right there on the edge. So it may it may be it may be important to call out um, that uh, again we had two ordinances and one resolution. One ordinance is authorizing lodging tax funds uh, for expenditures related to the venue. That amount is five hundred thousand uh, dollars. The second ordinance is authorizing TIF funds uh, for expenditures related to the venue and for the purchase of property at two hundred nine East Broad Street. So we're actually um, those people that don't know what TIF funds are, I, was gonna say that. It, uh, I will. Uh, you are the tax increment fund <laughs> uh, expert, Mr. Eccles. Well, this is a property taxes that were paid to county, and we broke the city down into di uh, districts, and whatever the uh, tax was at the time was a lot less than what it is today in East Gaston. And so the difference between that tax then and the tax now comes to us. In other words, now we know that Gaston is in Interval County because we're getting some of that tax money to spend on the infrastructure and so forth like this is. And so that's where that money's coming from. You already paid the county, but we're getting getting it to do the work over there in East Gas. Yeah, any questions? Cool. Good explanation. Very, oh, you very always good. do a good job with that, Mr. We appreciate it. And of course, the the, the other the other thing that's uh, that's considered along with these two ordinances is a resolution, and it's an it's authorizing this council today is authorizing the acquisition of property at 209 East Broad Street, okay, and that amount is for one hundred and five thousand dollars, okay. All right, clerk, we take the vote. Those in favor to adopt both ordinances and the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Motion carries to adopt all three items. Okay, is there any more new business? Mr. President, I have one I'd like to ask for unanimous consent for. It's a resolution authorizing an agreement with Craig Lipson for the architectural services for phase two renovation to the former General Forest School. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <laughs> Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? <clears throat> Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to adopt. Okay, is there any more new business? Hey, Mr. President, I have one. I have actually two. I'm going to cover them separately. This is a resolution 500 authorizing supplemental agreement number one with Pat Sherman. With additional design costs requested by the city, the city plan preparation of the renovations to Kiwanis Pavilion at Knock Little Falls Park. That's the unanimous consent to consider. Second. All right. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution under new business today, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I'll move to adopt. Second. Second. Okay. Any additional discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. My next one is a resolution 501, awarding bid number 3362 to Hudak Construction Company for the renovations to the Kiwanis Pavilion at Nakalula Falls. Second. Ask for unanimous consent. Second. Right. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Now move to adopt. Second. 
there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Is there any more new business? Department reports, committees, boards. So I, just a little bit out of. I'll, I'll I'll use this this part of the agenda to uh, to recognize um, a group that's that's here today. Uh, all the students from uh, Gaston City High School, would you raise your hand? So we've got a number number of uh, a good looking group at that. That's here, and uh, Miss Kimball, raise your hand, or Miss Judine. I'm sorry, Miss Judine, raise your hand. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she is. Uh, she is the uh, the teacher um, for a, uh, a a group of students that are with the. And you help me if I miss any of this. Is the management principals class, uh, and again, Miss Jud Judine teaches this class, so they're here observing and. I think during the week you guys have been engaging in some discussions with uh, the mayor and some of his staff at some level or, mem or other members of uh, at City Hall. Is that, is that accurate? We have not. Good morning. Good morning. Um, this is my management principals class. Again, I'm Yolanda Kimball Jedine, and this is a part of our career tech program. Um, it's one of our upper level uh, career tech programs through the, the business education um, section. And one of the things that we do is we learn about being entrepreneurs. We learn about being managers. We learn about being supervisors. We learn how to properly conduct ourselves in a meeting. In a, a meeting. Um, when we finish here, we'll go to Ruby Tuesday, and they will be interviewed over a meal where they have learned uh, proper etiquette and dining and things like that. They have learned um, uh, the POLC concept of management, and it, um, we just cover a lot of things, um, helping them to be leaders um, and to be instrumental in um, the business sector. And so we are so honored to be here today. Normally, we do meet with the mayor before coming down, um, but this has been a crazy semester. I can't believe that next week we'll be out for Christmas. And so I didn't want to infringe upon his time at such short notice, um, but we did want to be here, and I did want them to see our city government in action. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They, might, they might need to be uh, told that we don't just come down here and just pass everything like we've never seen it before. We meet a week before at 10 o'clock upstairs, and we get all this input. We have a week to look at it and decide. So when we go back up there today, we go over it again, and we already know what we're going to do when we get down here. So we're, we're not just passing stuff. And that's a lot of money we passed today. We know what's going on when, before we get here. Yeah. Just want to be sure you understand. We don't just halfway do so. Yeah. It's a very good point, Mr. Eccles. A lot of discussion takes place the week prior before we actually vote on something. So that's a, that's a very good point. Um, one thing I would like I'd like to share while we're here. I'd like to share with y'all. Y'all are going to Ruby Tuesdays to walk through, I think you said an interview scenario of sorts, just always remember an interview is not a grilling session, it's a conversation. And if you, ever, if you remember that, you'll perform much better in an interview. It's a conversation between you and the person that said, yeah, you're being asked the questions, but it's a conversation, so don't ever forget that. It takes a lot of the stress off of it when you remember that you are part of that conversation just like the person that's interviewing you is. And I hope that makes sense. All right. Yeah, citizens request, Mr. Williams. Good morning, Good morning. Um, Mayor and Council. I am um, really glad to be here today. Um, the 23rd of this month makes uh, Four years since we started serving children um, through the Boys and Girls Clubs of Gats near the Wall County. And I am really uh, proud to announce that uh, when we opened our club with our 23 initial members in uh, December of 2013, in December 
of 2017, we'll close out the year serving over 1,800 children this year alone through our after school summer programs and um, sporting events and community outreach efforts. And we're really proud of um, the work that we've been able to do, um, our board of directors, our staff, and the community at large. But um, a huge thank you goes to you guys. Uh, the um, city council was the um, first gift that I received in support of Boys and Girls Clubs when I came aboard. And, there, and most of what we've been able to do to large part is due to the support of the um, our local officials here in the city of Gats and our mayor and the members of the council alike. Um, this year, um, we are, I'm here to announce our 2018 Mayor's Ball, which will take place on January 12th at Convention Hall at 6 p.m. Um, the Mayor's Ball is really big for us. It is our largest, fu largest funding event. Um, it has accounted for as much as 25% of our annual budget. Um, this year's event, um, we slated to um, expect it to support um, approximately 15% of our annual budget. And um, you guys have all been very gracious in your support of it um, since the inception. The mayor um, um, lending his likeness to support the event and the um, entire council um, as far as supporting the event through different sponsorship levels. And I'm uh, really glad to announce it. And I have some more information about it that I will pass along here. You guys can look over it. And uh, looking forward to having you guys support again. It's going to be a really fun event. It's going to be at 6 p.m. at Convention Hall. We have a really exciting band, um, R&B band by the name of Sold Out out of Montgomery. They've um, played in lots of venues all across our southeastern region here. And I'm um, just really excited about having you guys support for this year's event. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. Thank you, Quiz. Yes, sir. I, I think it should be noted that uh, for those who may not recall the history, but uh, the Boys and Girls Club nationally went through a very difficult period where uh, there were some questions about the financial well-being of uh, the Boys and Girls Club. And so the Boys and Girls Club of Gasden was created, um, and Quez was their first and only, if I remember correctly, the first and only executive director. Uh, and, uh, and I think he's done a great job uh, of, um, of, of both managing that organization, and he's also done a good job of restoring some of the faith that the community has in that organization. So outstanding job, and we appreciate all the, all the work um, that, uh, that, you've, that you've done. And I can't... I can't go without saying this, um, you know, Miss Miss uh, Kimball Judine uh, is here today, and her her father, um, back in the '80s, uh, was uh, the executive director of a very notable organization, an organization that was the pillar of Gasden being uh, uh, granted one of the president's uh, 100 points of light. Um, Pres president Clinton at the time uh, recognized Gasden and that organization as one of its points of light. And, uh, and much of what uh, Mr. Williams is doing with the Boys and Girls Club is a lot of that work and the same, same kinds of things that were done back, back then. So it just goes to show you that youth build activities still have a place in our community. And again, we appreciate all the hard work that he's doing. Okay. All right. Remarks by the mayor and council, mayor? Yeah, I'll follow up on the Boys Club thing. Uh, was over there last week. You know, we redid the General Forest building about half of it, the gym, which was new in 1971, was redone. And uh, talked to the uh, kids for a while, answered questions. Uh, if you haven't been there, it's really uh, amazing what all they do. They have a homework room, they have computer technology. I mean, they have all kind of things they do to help their educational process. And uh, they, they do a good job, and hopefully everybody will uh, join in and buy a ticket or a table for the b mayor's ball. And I wanted to say a little something on the TIF district. I know that took me about six months to understand it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's a, a tax incentive. And like they said, property tax we didn't used to get now is the values of the property go up in that district. 
we get a percent of that tax and it can be used only back in that district. But it's been a good thing because we've accumulated quite a bit of money to, uh, to do some projects that we want to do. So uh, we're glad to have all of you here today. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Councilwoman Tolles? No comments. Okay. Mr. Eccles? Councilman Worthy? Uh, yes, I just want to announce that we had a, a good meeting, a community meeting on last Thursday, <coughs> and it was streamed live on WMGJ, and uh, I appreciate the people showing up. We had a big crowd. Appreciate the city workers for showing up and uh, the uh, employees there. A lot of people asked them questions, so I really appreciate that. And I also want to announce again the Drug Abuse Summit we're going to have uh, this Thursday right here in this room from 5 to 7. And we're, we're bringing the medical, educational, first responders, and the court system together to talk about drug abuse to see if there's some kind of way we could help alleviate this problem. We are having an epidemic of uh, drug overdoses in not only Gaston, but Edward County, but the nation. So we're going to try to come together and see what we can do. Thank you. Okay. Councilman Billingsley. Yes, it's, it's good to see Ms. Jordan here. I see her at school a lot, and, and it's just good to see young, young, young adults uh, try and help these young people. And, and, and also the boys club, I guess my kids went through the boys club when it was an old boys club, and, and that was a good thing, and, and I'm glad to see it striving back. And, and the mayor's ball, the mayor will not dance at the ball, okay? <laughs> no saying. <laughs> okay. That's all. All right, Councilman Kenny. I don't have anything. Right. Councilman Reed. I was just sitting here thinking about quiz back when uh, everything was going down, the Boys and Girls Club, and bankruptcy, and all they could talk about was negative stuff. And I, the, the song, Long Came Quiz, and it's looked up ever since. 23 people to 1,800. I mean, that's coming on strong, Quiz. And I want to let you know, I appreciate it, and I know everybody else does. Go vote. I don't care how you vote. I want my TV back. I about had all this crap I want. I'm, I'm serious about that. But do go vote, and then in the morning I'm going to wake up, and there won't be none of that mess on there. I hope. Yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath. That's right. <laughs> I'm talking about, well, till a later day. <laughs> There's more to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll echo that sentiment. If uh, if you haven't gotten your sticker today, go vote. Go get go, the go vote. Go exercise that right that so many so many vault, fought and died for. Um, the uh, the only other thing I'll I'll add before we uh, make a motion to adjourn is that we there is legislation that's making its way through the state house uh, that will that will to some degree um, that will to some degree uh, make it uh, easier for people to, to gain employment uh, with uh, child care uh, groups without uh, the benefit of a background check uh, or a criminal background check or otherwise and of course I you know I think it's important to note that uh, and I don't want to try to speak for all of the elected officials here but I think the vast majority of us are not okay with that uh, we want to background check and and, uh, and and gain some level of information every opportunity that we get um, and of course we want to do that in compliance with federal law but uh, but we want to know as much as we can about the people that are going to be working around our children so um, so they'll, they'll, we'll be talking more about this in the upcoming weeks but uh, but again just please become familiar with this legislation it's why it's important for people to dial in to what's happening not just related to, to, to garbage pickups, abandoned houses, and, and grass cutting, but understand the legislation that's going through the State House and through Congress because it impacts you. Uh, understand as much as you can about the tax reform bill that's passed, that's trying to make its way through Congress because it impacts you. Uh, you, 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 need, you need to be familiar with and understand that stuff because it's gonna be impacting you for years. There's certain things that will expire in the next 10 years, and then there's certain tax breaks that won't. Uh, so please understand, understand that stuff and become familiar with it. But we'll be talking more about this ch child care thing more, more in, the next, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, if there's nothing else, I entertain a motion that we adjourn. So move. Mm -hmm. I, you know what? It does.